You were adjusting items and objects and dresses, in this case, colors in scenes, but you'll run into a problem if you're adjusting things that have interesting lighting, such as even in this photo, where you create weird glows around uh, the items that you're adjusting. Uh, and so we can see this here, right? Look at that. Look at that glow. What is that? What is that glow? What are you doing, glow? It's really weird, and it's you can actually you can see it from very far away, especially more noticeable down here at the bottom, where it's very dark around the inside of her legs, and that sort of thing. Lots of glow. It's very noticeable, and it's not because my selection was imprecise. It's because this isn't an ultra high quality photo. So what happens is the edges of um, her dress are actually blurred, and they're very very feathered but they're not feathered enough that you could just use the feather to account for it. What you really have to do is make the lighting that is reflected from her dress match the new color of the dress, right? So how we're gonna do this is by duplicating your original image. So in my case, it's the red copy. And I'm gonna go colors, hue, saturation. I'm going to adjust this so it kind of matches the new dress color, which is, I would say about there and a little less saturated, so looking at about that and then i'm going to delete everything that is not uh, around my image thing my subject so delete oh i don't have an alpha channel i'll add that now by right clicking on my layer and going down to add alpha channel so delete everything around and then i'm going to open up the eraser tool and just kind of start brushing away the stuff we don't need now what we do need is the stuff where the light from the dress is reflected onto or her skin or surrounding objects. And we see this definitely kind of up in here. That's about as far as I would erase right there. And then on the underside of her arms a little bit. So just kind of gonna go up, erase, erase most of the shirt and leave the underside of her arms so that you got a little bit of purple reflection in there. My brush is a little bit too big for this. I'm gonna scale it down quite a bit. <clears throat> Let's go that. Pretty good, gonna take the purple off her knee there and kind of get rid of the stuff on his pants. Don't really think that fits. Let's hide this layer. Oop, I've got some stuff up in the corner. And you can see it matches much, much, much better than it previously did. Get rid of some more extraneous purple. So turning that layer on and off, get the weird glow without it and then looks much more natural uh, with the new lighting adjustments. So that's how you make your altered colors fit in more with your scene, make them seem much more natural.